the internet, friend or foe? Hands up, who thinks it's a friend? Oh, lots of people think it's friendly. Who, think it's a fo who thinks it's a foe? Both. Anybody else? Two. Come on, be brave. Who hates the internet? Hands up, come on. Three, four, okay, five. Thank you very much, you brave people who put your hands up. Being realistic about it, a lot of people do fear the internet. And with some justification as well. It is a massive, massive arena, which we have never known the like of before. Twelve years ago, I was reborn. I am now 12 years old. <laughs> you knew that before I came to stand here, though, and you could tell, couldn't you? This is just a facade. Um, Twelve years has taught me quite a lot about the internet, really, what I think is good and what I think is bad. But it's all relevant. And believe me, if you don't grasp the nettle of the internet, you're going to lose out. It's been mentioned before about possibly losing out if you don't think of bullets, I think we mentioned earlier, which is an excellent anal analogy. If you don't consider your website for your business to be one of your most important sales and marketing tools and promotion tools, you're kidding yourself. All right? I can say that without much more force because I'm a mixed company and I don't want to swear in front of people. It is the most important thing you're going to be doing over the next few years is to talk about your business, your products and your services through your website. I kid you not, because your competitors are doing it now. Can I ask in the room, just show of hands, don't have to stand up, who's responsible for the marketing of the website in this room, in your company? your business. Okay, so we've got about a third. Okay, maybe a little more. Uh, hands up, how many directors are in the room of their businesses? Strangely enough, they're not the same people. I've got a point here, I'm getting to it slowly. The directors of the business need to take an interest in their website. Because you guys who are directors, and I'm on too, are responsible for the bottom line in our businesses. American businesses spend 10% of their turnover a year on their websites. Now, we haven't got all, you know, all got the, the, uh, the big dollar like the American companies have, but 10% of their turnover they put into their website. There's a reason why. The website is the vehicle for the promotion, the future, the business generation, the communications. It's the lifeblood. Mr. and Mrs. Directors in the room wake up, smell the proverbial roses, get to know your internet website, your communications media, your email systems, the bits and bobs which frighten you. And I know that I talk to a lot of managing directors every day, finance directors, fantastic at their jobs but scared stiff of the web because it's on a computer. You don't need to be. It's just a different way of communicating to people, that's all. I'm going to go through some slides. I won't be nasty anymore, though. I'm going to be pleasant now, all right? And I'm going to tell you what's on the screen and see how we get on from here. <laughs>